everyone, welcome back to my channel, Sugar Mama TV. I am financial planner, Canna Campbell. So today's video is a bit of a different one. I want to share with you 10 things that give me a lot of joy, pleasure, and satisfaction in my life that cost $10 or less. Because let's be honest, with inflation these days, it feels like everything costs $5,000 or $50,000. However, all of these things cost $10 or less. Actually, all right, maybe one of them costs a little bit more than $10, but I promise you it is so worth it. All right, so number one, giving me the most amount of pleasure in my life, the best return on my investment, are my $6 very fluffy slippers from Kmart. I'm obsessed with these. I actually made a reel dedicated to these slippers because they are so good. They come in a whole range of colors and they are so comfortable. The only problem with them is you'll want to wear them out of the home. Number two is Bennett Street cookie dough. All right, this is the one that costs more than $10. Technically, it costs $12.50 to $13, depending on where you buy it from. But this is just a guilty pleasure. So these guys have a couple of cafes in Bondi and during COVID their business really suffered so they started selling their cookie dough because they make the most amazing cookies. Now Woolworths have recently picked them up so you can get them at most major Woolworths supermarkets. It costs between $12 up to $13 and literally you slice it off what you just cook, basically cook whatever you need, keep it in the fridge and eat it as you go. Now just to obviously for illustration purposes only I may have made one already this morning absolutely delicious make sure you follow the instructions because it's quite easy to burn but there is nothing better than a hot fresh cookie straight out of the oven how much joy does that give us number three is comfort me tea now I'm really slow to the tea drinking party but I've recently discovered a new tea which I'm absolutely loving called Comfort Tea. I can't show you the box because I've actually drunk all the tea and I need to go to the supermarket and get some more. Now I love herbal teas, so if you have any recommendations of soothing, calming, maybe sleepy teas, can you please let me know by commenting below. Now I might actually just enjoy my tea with my Bennett Street cookie right now. All under $10, bliss. Number four is my Revlon mascara. Now, this mascara you can find on sale and often it's 40% off at Chemist Warehouse. When this goes on sale, I stock up because it's less than $10. I have a problem paying a lot of money for mascara. I think there's some really good budget-friendly mascaras out there where you don't have to compromise on quality. And what I love about this is my lashes actually seem stronger. I think it's got some sort of seed oil in it. But the cool thing about this is it actually gently, very gently, tints your lashes when you're wearing it. Number five, I'm going to sound a little bit OCD, but hey, these things cost less than $10 and bring a lot of joy to my world, so I'm going to share them with you. So this is my clear cosmetic containers. In fact, I have a couple of them, and they give so much joy to my life because they help me stay organized. Now, I have these in my bathroom drawers, and it helps keep it, the area so much more organized and tidy. I can find things in a hurry because they're clear. Now, for example, in this one, I've kept all my blushes in this smaller one I've got all my eyeliners and in this one I've got mascaras so this is a great budget-friendly way of keeping your bathroom tidy and organized and feeling good who doesn't like to open up a drawer and see how neat and tidy it is especially when it comes to makeup now I have found a variety of different clear makeup cases and some really fun colorful ones as well but they're predominantly transparent so I have linked them as well as everything else I'm going through this video in the video description box below. Number six is my homemade plum crumble. In Australia right now, we're going into autumn. It's starting to get a little bit cold. And at the moment, plums are in season, which means plums are incredibly budget friendly. For example, I was able to buy 750 grams worth of plums from the Odd Bunch at Woolworths for $3.50. Now, I have made a reel for you guys showing you how I make my plum crumble because it serves about five or six people for less than ten dollars and it's a great zero waste meal to make and literally you just add butter 
oats, brown sugar and flour. It is that quick and easy. And you don't have to necessarily use plums, you can use whatever is in season or whatever fruit that takes your fancy. But it is the perfect, homely, hearty, wholesome dessert for under $10. It's also incredibly easy to make. Number seven has got to be my coat hangers. Another area where I'm a little bit OCD or maybe just particular is keeping my wardrobes neat, tidy and organized. One of my hacks is I like to make my wardrobe feel like a shop. So I'm shopping my own wardrobe, which means I tend to go and spend less money at the shops and wasting money unnecessarily. Now, these bad babies you can get from Bunnings. I believe you can get for $3 or $3.50 a pack of 10. And it makes your wardrobe look so much neater, tidier, and more organized, especially when you have all the clothes facing the right way. So you have all the buttons of your shirts facing one way, all your jackets facing one way, all your pants neatly hanging. And if you want to take it one step further, which is what I love to do, and that is to have it color coordinated from light to dark. It means your wardrobe, when you open it up, it feels really harmonious. Now, I love doing this. It's actually a really therapeutic process, you know, pulling everything out of your wardrobe and neatly putting everything back in. But this is something that has given me immense joy and even pleasure putting together my wardrobe with matching coat hangers and making it look and feel like my own private shop. Number eight are tea towels. I, okay, I know this sounds a little bit crazy, but I love buying tea towels when my old ones are just completely and utterly had it. When you add a new, fresh, fun tea towel to your kitchen, it kind of gives a bit of an injection of life back into your home, obviously your kitchen in particular. So there are some really fun ones around. Typically I like plain basic ones, but these ones have some orange lobsters on it, which are really fun and they go into my kitchen perfectly. Just a little bit of a, like a mini facelift for my kitchen. Number nine is succulents. Succulents are a fantastic solution if you like having plants or freshly cut flowers or orchids in your home, but you are on a budget. Succulents can cost next to nothing because you can literally go and make your own succulent garden from existing succulents. That is, they propagate. So you can literally take a cutting from a succulent, pop it into some water or into some earth, depending on what variety you have, and it will continue to grow. It will plant roots back into the earth and grow and flourish. Now, my own florist taught me this hack and he actually started to build me this little mini garden, but then I've taken it to the next level by finding cuttings myself in my own garden and then putting them back into this plant. Now, check out this. Now, look how cool this is. And I've got these all different varieties all over my home, but so cool. And literally, just need to be patient, pop it into a little spot that you find in the plant, make sure it gets the right amount of sunlight and the right amount of water, and then watch it flourish. Now, the trick, I think, with succulents to make it look really, I guess, rich and luscious and interesting is to take a variety of different succulents and kind of compact them in together. So it looks like a little mini garden within your home. And as I said, you can make this pretty much from nothing because you can literally take cuttings from existing succulents. And then number 10, my final $10 joy that's adding a lot of pleasure in my life are my Revlon lip oils. Now in fact if you shop around, particularly when Chemist Warehouse have their sales, you can buy these for as little as $6 each. They have a wide variety of different shades and colors but my pick or recommendation for you is the nudes and pinks. Now, these are absolutely great. They go on quickly and easily. And I find that when I wear a gloss, I feel like I look more youthful and my lips look fuller and more luscious. And like, how good is that? Under $10. Now, a little hack that I've discovered to help make your gloss last longer, because obviously a gloss isn't gonna last as long as say a matte. And that is to add a little bit of lip balm underneath before you apply your gloss. And you'll find that this stays on so much longer. But this, these are great. And again, a little bit like mascara, I really do struggle to spend a large amount of money on lipsticks when you can access something that's really budget friendly at this price point. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I have linked in the video description box below everything that I recommend and I would love to hear from you. Can you recommend any soothing, calming herbal teas that I might like? 
Do you know any other cookies or particular foods or recipes or things I can add to my life that are under $10 or less? Because I think a lot of people right now are really struggling with the increasing cost of living, particularly as incomes aren't keeping up with the new cost of living. And I think it's really nice to find simple pleasures in our world that gives us a little bit of joy, maybe even a little bit of luxury and some pleasure in a sometimes dynamic, challenging world that we're all living in. And of course, every time we do this and share this, we're helping each other save money and stop wastefulness, which means more money that we can put towards our financial goals and dreams. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. And of course, make sure you're following me on Instagram on both my accounts. And of course, make sure you are subscribed. But I shouldn't need to tell you that because you probably are already, aren't you? <laughs>